Lesson 9.3, trigonometric functions of any angle. Our essential question, how do you evaluate trigonometric functions of any angle and find and use reference angles to evaluate trigonometric functions? Standard 9.3, number three, finding reference angles. When looking for a reference angle, you are just trying to see what is the degree from the line you're given to the closest x-axis. So if you're in quadrant two, you're trying to find the closest x-axis, which would be right here. So you would be finding this angle measure. In quadrant three, even though this is your angle right here, we're wanting to know the reference angle, which is how many degrees is it to the closest x-axis. In quadrant four, even though this entire angle is your angle right here, we want the reference angle, which is how close is it to the closest x-axis. So we need to sketch the given angle and then find the reference angle for theta. So first, we need to sketch 210 degrees. So here is my unit circle. You always start on this initial side. And I know that if I went this far, this would have just given me to 90. So this would have given me 90. If I travel another quarter, I would have gotten another 90, which only gives me 180 degrees. I need just a little bit more. So I'm currently at 180 degrees. I need to go 30 more to get to my 210. So if I split this into two 30 degree segments, here is the remaining 30 that I need to get to my 210 degree angle. But I want the reference angle. The reference angle is how far is it from the closest x-axis. This is my closest x-axis. So what is my reference angle? That was 30 degrees. So my reference angle is 30 degrees. 130 degrees is the angle that I need to first find. So here is my unit circle. We always start at this initial value right here. It's negative, which means I'm going backwards. So if I go backwards, traveling this far would have only gotten me to negative 90. So currently I've gone negative 90. I need to go another negative 40 in order for me to get to the total negative 130 degrees that I need. So if I split this into 45, a little shy of it would have been 40. So here is me traveling my remaining negative 40. So this right here is my negative 130. But I'm looking for the reference angle, which would have been closest x-axis, which is right here. So I know from here to this dotted line would have been 45 degrees. The remaining space here was five degrees. So my reference angle, is the 45 plus the five, which is 50 degrees. So my reference angle is 50 degrees. There are three problems on the left side of this page for independent practice. Please do these three problems on your own. 